you going to tell me what happened? You've been gone for days. I'm not sure where to begin. I mean, I went out there because I met this woman who said she could help me get better. And I didn't really feel like I had a choice. I mean, I could feel my health just slipping away. She blindfolded me. She said it was necessary for the bargain. I could only see a faint bit of light through the rough cloth. You know, that feeling. When you blow out the last candle before going to bed. Like you're not quite alone in your own home. That same dread and terror is exactly what I felt rush over me as she led me inside that cave. The darkness was so overwhelming it made it hard to walk. Stop here. I could hear her walking away and it sounded like a gate opening shortly after. It felt like we'd walked for an eternity. But in all honesty, considering what happened next, I wish we'd never stopped. I began being able to see light along our path. Stop. Nothing. Keep moving. Why didn't you run away? I felt like I wanted to run, of course. But the fear of what might happen if I actually did run was far greater than staying with the woman and having her protect me from whatever the heck it was. What happened after that? The more we walked, the more aware I became of hushed voices around us. Thinking back on it, I'm not even sure they were human. Stop. What now? You are being judged. Before I could really comprehend what was going on, I got poked in the stomach by something. And I heard something coming closer and closer. Servitude? I've never, ever been so utterly terrified in my life. Speak! I don't want to die. I will pledge myself to your service if you can save me. <laughs> I may be able to make you use of it. You cured of your ailments, but now you serve me. Stay blinded and be gone before I change my mind best. What happened after the meeting with the dragon is still a bit hazy. I do remember we walked for a bit longer, and then the woman sat me down. And I don't think I'd sat there for very long before suddenly I started hearing the creatures from earlier snarling and yipping in their own peculiar language. At this point, I desperately wanted to take the blindfold off, but I was just too scared. Suddenly though, I started hearing things, faintly at first. 
pretty sure it was the sound of battle. I heard the dragon roar. I'm guessing it was fighting whoever had entered its lair. Thankfully for me, they managed to defeat it. <laughs>